Hello, I'm attorney Todd Leneve. Welcome to West Virginia Gun Law. Today I wanted to bring you just a very quick update on the ATF's recent final rule regarding private transactions of firearms and what it means to be engaged in the business. Stick around. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on the ATF's recent final rule regarding private sales of firearms and the redefinition of what it meant to be engaged in the business. Essentially, under this new rule, it's a sweeping reform of the way that private firearm sales have historically been treated, essentially making everybody who sells a firearm an unlicensed dealer and requiring that they become Federal Firearms Licensees, or FFLs. In response to that final rule, a number of states and organizations, gun rights groups, filed a lawsuit challenging the legality of the rule and how it's going to be applied to private citizens. And on May 10th, just last week, the plaintiffs in the case filed a motion for an expedited briefing schedule to address their motion for preliminary relief. What that all means is this. The lawsuit seeks to challenge overall the legality of this final rule that changes the definition of what it means to be engaged in the business of firearm sales. As part of that lawsuit, the plaintiffs have requested a temporary injunction or a temporary relief from the rule going into effect and impacting literally millions of lawful gun owners across the United States. Now, the rule is scheduled to go into effect on May 20th, and so the plaintiffs in the case have asked the court that's hearing this case to uh, agree to an expedited hearing schedule, or in other words, put this case on a fast track. And the court ultimately agreed by order dated May 10th. It set up a new briefing schedule with the defendants, the ATF and Department of Justice, being required to file their uh, response in opposition to the request for temporary relief by the close of business tomorrow, May 14th, and the plaintiffs are to file their reply to that challenge on May 15th by the close of business. There are a couple of things that I think are important takeaways. First off, the court that's presiding over the case recognized that the rule is scheduled to go into effect on May 20th and recognizes that there is a significant impact that this rule is going to have on American society, on the Second Amendment community, and recognized that the parties are seeking a very quick turnaround uh, on a decision regarding this preliminary relief or preliminary injunction. Again, the point being here that the plaintiffs, the people who are opposing the rule, want to have the rule stopped so that it doesn't go into effect on May 20th, so that there's then time for everybody to sit down, brief out their arguments, and develop this case through briefing and arguments in front of the court to get a final decision on whether or not this rule is even legal. And so the court recognizing that, one, the plaintiffs want quick relief, because we're talking about a matter of seven days from today uh, for the rule to take effect, uh, recognizes the importance in getting this addressed quickly, and two, the fact that the defendants, the ATF and the Department of Justice, are not opposing the motion for an expedited schedule. The court is saying, yes, we're absolutely going to accommodate that, here's what's going to happen, and the parties have a very short time to get their briefs prepared and filed so that the court can then potentially address those arguments on preliminary relief prior to the May 20th start date for this rule. So this is a pretty big development. It's significant that the court 
did take this up and agree to allow an expedited schedule. In other words, to put this on a fast track and get a decision quickly on whether or not the rule actually goes into effect May 20th. So I wanted to bring you that update here quickly. I think it's an important development. It's an interesting development, and it's definitely something that we'll be keeping a close eye on. So in the meantime, if you have firearms that you want to sell, this is the time to do it before that regulation kicks in and uh, might potentially clamp down on our ability to engage freely in sales of firearms from person to person. If you have any questions about the topic here, uh, please feel free to send a message to me directly. Leave a question in the comments section below. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Like the video, share it. This is definitely important information to get out to every gun owner that you know who may not be aware of this development and make sure that uh, we're getting the word out to everybody. I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes with me today. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Look forward to seeing the next video. Until then, take care and be safe.